Hello everyone, hope you are doing really well. Some of you have asked me what are Akashic Records. Akashic is the library of the information of everything that exists. Every thought, every word, every act, every intent is energy. And energy is always there. It never disappears. So how can we access this information and ask guidance? How, how can we access the information of our soul, all the information that we are born with, all the experiences that we had in, in our other lives? And ask for guidance, ask who we are, what is our purpose here, and every other question that may come to your mind. Let me give you an example. Look at your computer data cloud. Where is the craft? And how do you access this information? Through a password, right? The same, you access Akashic record through vibrational key. In order to get access to the vibrational key, you need to participate in an initiation ceremony program. The initiation helps you to expand your bandwidth the same way that we change from cable in the internet to fiber optic to expand the bandwidth to get more data in. You participate in initi initiation ceremony to expand the bandwidth to be able to receive more data into your CPU and into your heart. So, when you have access to your Akashic records, you can ask any questions, any questions that come to your mind and you can empower your life by understanding why certain events happen into your life. Like a client of mine who's been dealing with the feeling of abandonment her entire life. Her mother left her when she was only eight years old. Her father left her when she was only 12 years old. She lived with grandmother at 14. The grandmother left her. She had three suicide experience, real suicide, and she had problem with alcohol and drugs, being in many different rehab centers and nobody could help her. When we open the records, we have seen that in another life, she is the one leaving her little child to go to the war. And having this guilt in her mind, she decided to come here as a child to that mother in order to compensate the guilt that she had in her mind. So you see, my dear friend, karma is not what you have been told. Karma is your own free will, is your conscious decision that you take. But the problem is how conscious we are in the moment that we are leaving this body. If this body is completely programmed based on cause and effect, how conscious do we take the decision on our departure? We know that we are taking our mind with ourselves. That's why we came to this physical body to experience and have all this experience with us. So this consciousness is traveling with us to the other reality. In this moment of departure, if we are taking with ourselves guilt, sin, everything that we think or we have been trained or educated with that could be a sin, we take it with us and we decide to come back to compensate it. Sometimes you take the resentment with yourself. I have seen in the life of many people when they had they have been in the war and one get killed with the other one and the other one in that moment getting killed is making a pact that I will come back here and I will kill you. And with this intention, they come here. Now, the moment they arrive here, they forget everything. Then their life passed cross because they had a pact together to come and kill each other. They are in a loving relationship, but they constantly have physical fight with each other. So now you are given the chance to release all the karmas from your past. Every pact that you know consciously and unconsciously will be shown to you 
when you access your records and you ask this question. And you can delete all of them and you can replace them with an empowering pact, with an empowering contract, if you wish. Apart of that, we have very advanced healing temples and chambers in the Akashic records that are in the etheric field. Everything is in the quantum field. And we can access, if your path is with therapy, we can access this data, we can access this information, we can access these chambers and bring the patients there in the, in the quantum field and channel healing energy for, energies for them. We will receive all the data, whatever is missing in their body, if they are having nutrition deficiency, if they have any blockages in their chakras, if they have any emotional packs that is causing their disease, if they have any genetic disease, we will receive all this information when we have the records open and we have a lot of healers and angels and masters and the loved ones of the person who is on the therapy session with us present in order to heal this person. So it's a very powerful tool to get access to your records and ask for questions. Some of you are on a journey to discover the truth, the truth behind everything. How the human landed on this planet? What about the civilizations before us? What about Atlantis? What about Lemuria? We don't have many written information about them. How can we get access to all those stuff? And how can we learn from them and bring it to our daily life and empower our life? All these questions are available for you, the answer to them in Akashic Realm. So this is the huge library, the data of everything that exists. And you need to be very specific, ask questions. And with practice, you will improve your perception and interpretation of the information. Depends on uh, what type of communication you have you will receive the information in the form of maybe a voice or a feeling or a geometric shape or a symbol. You will receive this information and you will understand. The right answer comes to your heart, not to your mind. The mind is just processing the data constantly. So you will learn how to transcend your ego. You will learn how to transcend the mind and to tap into the power of your heart by accessing the directory of information of your soul. If you are interested to learn more, um, I would love to invite you to my Akashic Initiation Ceremony. That's an eight hours course, theory, practice, and the ceremony uh, taking place in Marbella Presidential on the 15th of December. Or for those of you who are abroad and would like to participate on online program, we will have this program uh, on 4, 13 and 14 of January, two days, four hours each day. For more information, please contact me or send an email to contact at infinitelove.es. Many blessings to you. My name is Shima Shadru, and I'm very happy to be your guide on this journey.